Hi everyone and welcome back to another Langmuir Systems Fire Control tutorial video. In this video we'll be covering program manipulation within Fire Control. Manipulations can be performed on any loaded program to make that part fit your needs. These functions alter the G-code of the loaded program in various ways that would usually need to be done in CAM. To go through these manipulations, I'm going to load our example cow program. Once I load it, you'll see that I now have access to the previously grayed out manipulations. The first manipulation that we'll cover is the dry run toggle. When the dry run toggle is enabled, your program will be stripped of all z-axis moves, torch fire commands, and THC activation points. It is used to both test a program before a cut to make sure the g-code is doing what you expect and to better lay out parts on your material. This program will run only in the X and Y coordinates. When you are ready to cut, you can simply toggle the dry run back off and cut your program with all the removed G-code commands added back in. Dry run is a simple manipulation and easily reversible with the toggle button, but I want to highlight the reset and download capabilities of Fire Control that apply to all manipulations. I'm going to quickly toggle dry run back on. In the program bar, next to the upload button, we have the functionality to download and revert any manipulated program. If, for example, you made some manipulations that you would like to save, you can select the download icon and download the current program, including your manipulations. The downloaded program name also contains a history of the manipulations that were done to the program. As well, after having manipulated your program one or many times, you have the orange revert option in the program bar that will revert your program back to the originally loaded program. Note that this is not one step back, as Fire Control does not save manipulation history beyond the program name. This is all the way back to the originally loaded program. The next manipulation we'll cover is the set program origin functionality, which lets you change the programmed origin of your part. This often makes locating parts on material much easier, especially after performing other manipulations. Simply press the button and select one of the green boxes at the four corners and center of the part to reprogram your part's 00, zero location. Having done this, you'll see the manipulation in the program name as well as your revert and download options. Next, we'll move on to scaling. In the scale and rotate module, once expanded with the toggle, we have the ability to scale our program. That is, making it larger or smaller. You should be aware that scaling programs does not adjust lead-ins and lead-outs for smaller or larger parts. With scaling, you can make features that are too small for the plasma cutter to cut with good definition. To scale your program, simply enter the scale factor into the scale box and select Generate. You can scale your program smaller by entering a value less than 1 and larger by entering a value greater than 1. The limits of this scaling are 10% or 0.1 of the program size to 10x the program size. As this cow is very wide, I'm going to scale it down to 50% of its original size by entering 0.5 as my scale factor. Then, as you can see, my program is now exactly half the size. If I were to select the Generate button again, my cow would be scaled down another 50% from the active program, so to 25% of the original size, as you can see in the program bar. While this scaled program is still active, I will show you how Fire Control can handle multiple manipulations in combination by performing a rotate operation after a scale operation. To rotate, simply enter the rotation factor in degrees that you wish to rotate the program and select the generate option. I will rotate the cow 90 degrees clockwise by entering 90 into the box and pressing generate. Like with scale, I can press the generate button again to further rotate the cow 90 degrees. There. Now as you can see, my cow is rotated 270 degrees. An artifact of the rotation algorithm is that your program origin point may be affected differently than the cut lines. So you will likely want to set program origin once your program is oriented how you want it to set a more usable origin. Now that I have a smaller and better oriented program, 
I want to cut multiple of these cows on the same sheet of material. Fire Control offers a pattern feature that lets me replicate, essentially copy the active program and cut many duplicates in one program run. First expand the patterning module using the toggle to expose the patterning options. With these options, I can set the number of rows and the number of columns of these parts to cut. To max out my material usage, I want to cut two rows of cows four columns wide using the default spacing. As you can see, this generates a program with eight cows spaced 150 thousandths apart. Now the Crossfire machine will cut out these eight cows one by one with minimal spacing between. Now this pattern is just barely too tall for the Pro machine at just over 34 inches. I want to bring that to around 33 inches to fit on my machine, so I will again scale this entire nest of parts down 97% from the current size with a scale function. Perfect. Now this nest will fit on my Pro, and just in case I want to run this program again, I will download this nest of eight cows. Now to show the final manipulation available in Fire Control 21.1, I will revert this whole nest of parts back to the original cow. Fire Control gives you the ability to truncate your program to pick up cuts at any cuttable point in the G-code, a feature we call Run From. Picking up a cut could be performed after some misfire or error situation, but it can also be useful in removing certain inside cuts from a part. This cow has mounting holes cut into it, but for my purposes, I want to remove these and have a solid cow perimeter cut. To remove these holes as they are cut first in the program, I will demonstrate another of Fire Control's powerful feature, the ability to select lines from the visualizer. I will hover my mouse over the rapid move after the last hole cut until it highlights, and then select it. This automatically selects this rapid line in the G-code viewer below and highlights the line bright green in the visualizer above. You will notice on the right of this G-code line is the ability to run from loop. Selecting loop will truncate all previous G-code lines before this cut loop, so all of the whole cuts. This preserves the IHS and peer sequences of the perimeter loop. As you can see, the program's holes are now gone, and I can cut this cow without them. This feature is also useful when picking up cuts that may have gone wrong for whatever reason. Like run from loop, you can also run from line on lines in the middle of a cut. Like before, select a line in the G-code viewer or select a cut line from the visualizer. Here, I'll pick up a cut from the cow's tail. Selecting run from line here brings up the confirmation box and then regenerates the program starting to cut at the line I selected. This also inserts the IHS sequence in Pierce commands to properly set torch height if using IHS and THC. Now you can pick up this cut very easily to complete your cow perimeter. That covers the many program manipulations available in Fire Control. Stay tuned for more detailed videos on Fire Control. Thank you.